Hello everyone. Um, today we have in the studio Ms. Brenda Christian, our religious education director. She sees she's very happy today. Uh, very excited because of coming event on Sunday, which is the community day of celebration for our blessed mother. So Ms. Brenda, tell us more what is the celebration about? Well, the first couple of years when we had our Advent retreat, we were wanting people to focus more on what the season was really about, not so much on going out shopping on Black Friday and buying gifts. We wanted mm -hmm. them to, to slow down and prepare themselves for the coming of the Lord. So Father Sink, you and I had a conversation about why we're calling it Advent retreat when it's really the week before Advent. So we decided to change the name this year to make it just a community day. And this year we're going to uh, pay close attention to our Blessed Mother because we all know without her great fiat, her great yes, uh, we may uh, live in a different world than what we live in now. She was the, the Christ bearer. Uh, you know, the church refers to her sometimes as the new Ark of the Covenant because she carried Christ. Um, I have on the pilot announcement that H is 3 to 103. Yes. What does it mean? That means that this um, day, this afternoon, is designed for families. Um, no, you know, no matter how old or how young, there's something for everyone. Uh, for instance, we have uh, Sherry Pacini and Renee Davis, who is going to facilitate our preschool to first grade session. And they are going to um, tell the, the students about the birth of Christ, as well as share a story about Juan Diego how Mary appeared to this young boy. And one of the things, if we don't learn anything else about Mary, is that Mary taught us how to trust. And so we just felt that would be a great story of trust for young children to show how this young boy um, trusted in Mary and made a difference in his community. What about the older? Uh, and then from for children uh, ages that are in second grade to fifth grade, um, Michelle Grimes, Alani Rogers, and uh, Dave and Janet Maslon, they're, along with some of our high school students, they're going to um, retell or reenact the story of Mary, the mother of Jesus. And it's going to uh, highlight the, the, the major points in the life of Mary and Jesus, you know, from his birth to his uh, crucifixion. And then for our middle school students, we have Sister Ann and Joanne. And they are going to open their session with the Litany of Loretta. And then they're going to uh, lead them in a guided meditation on the gospel um, that focuses on the Annunciation when the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary. And have the students to share what they got out of that uh, experience of just being able to sit and meditate on God's word. Um, and finally, they will make um, either write a poem or make an art piece that um, describes one of the symbols that's mentioned in the Litany of Loretta, which, you know, talks about all the different titles of Mary. And this is for? This would be for students in sixth grade through eighth. And then for our high school students, uh, some of our high school students have decided to volunteer and help with the younger children, and some have decided to use it as a prayer experience as a way for them to grow closer and to get to know Mary. Um, by attending the adult session, which will be facilitated by Father Sophie from Our Lady of Lords, um, who's going to talk to us about our Blessed Mother. What about the age 103? 103? Hey, if, if people are 103, they go in the, the adult group. If they can sit and, and, um, and, and have patience to listen, I want them, because we're never too old to learn mm -hmm. about our faith. Uh, you know, one of the, the old cliches is, you know, it's from, from the womb to the tomb. So it's an ongoing process. It's a journey. And that's why we have these days, to bring families together um, to, for food, for faith, and for fellowship, for us to grow as a community. And we always walk away um, knowing more than what we uh, started out the day. And one of the things that I like to do, uh, the adults will, when they leave, they will take away, in their little takeaway bag, uh, these little Lenten books, which will uh, offer them the opportunity to reflect daily 
uh, with their family of different prayers and different things that they can do at home during the season of Lent. Um, so. Uh, we will be in Advent. Oh. <laughs> But again, because the season of Advent starts the following week, so what you want them to do is is to have this yes. already for Advent, not for Lent. Oh, did I say Lent? I'm yes. sorry. <laughs> so you got to edit that out. No, we won't leave it this way. <laughs> I apologize. I meant to say for the season of Advent, you know, daily reflections. So the first weekend of Advent, they'll have these little reflection mm -hmm. books so they can put into practice. You know, um, their prayers in here that they can say when they light their Advent wreath during dinner time. Again, we want our families to really reflect on what this season is all about. That it's not so much the material things in the world that we should be focusing on as is the spiritual in our own spiritual journey. And I would like to share with parents that there are books that they can get. Um, they want to give their children a gift uh, to help them learn more about Mary. Um, this is a great book to teach them. Um, the Hail Mary, that it's not just words that we say, that if they think about, um, you know, Hail Mary comes from when the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, said, Hail Mary, full of grace, or in some translations, it said, Hail Mary, O favorite one. But that's an easy way to explain that prayer to children. And that nice picture, pictures. Nice picture. Uh, this one. This other little book that I have here is a good one. It's called Just Like Mary, a good book to share with the kids. Uh, and it teaches, again, it starts with denunciation and uh, allows parents to explain and teach, to the, teach their children how to trust, how to be obedient uh, like Mary. So, uh, you know, Mary was our first teacher, the first disciple to show us how to uh, be uh, good followers of Christ. And then the last little book is a good one for them. It, it's called Take It to the Queen. And it's a good little book to teach them about hope because sometimes, you know, when we're feeling down, you know, there are people during this season that don't have as much as others, but this offers hope to let them know that there's hope for them. So people will be able to, to buy it or we give it as a gift? Uh, it is or? just uh, a list of titles that I give to them to recommend that they purchase to, to add in their library okay. at home uh, to read. Um, you know, there are a lot of good books out there. The, the little play that we're going to reenact is called Mary, Mother of Jesus. is another good book that, you know, they should add to their library. So it's going to be a great day. It's a, you know, we have something for everyone. Um, again, you just walk away knowing more about uh, the Blessed Mother. You know, with our younger children, uh, the second through fifth graders, you know, after they listen to the story, they get to make their own personal prayer book. And what we want to include in there, those prayers dedicated to Mary, the Hail Mary, the Angelus, the Magnificat. And we'll explain to them how all those came into being. Again, they're not just words. Uh, they're things to meditate on and to, to use in our daily life. So please come join us Sunday, 12.30, with a meal beginning. It's a lot of preparation and everything for you. So use this opportunity to grow in faith and as a family uh, be part of this event. Thank you, Ms. Brenda. You're welcome. See you Sunday. <laughs>